Hey everyone, welcome to Birth Audio Cast Series. I'm Ash. Today I want to share with you a little bit of a conversation I had recently with a soul sister of mine. We took ayahuasca together a year ago. She sat next to me. We were a little weary of each other at first, but in the end we became great friends. And over the past year, throughout our conversations, we've watched each other grow and we've been able to express what the medicine did for us during the event as well as afterwards. And for her, she had a slightly different experience than I did, which is okay because the medicine is about what your subconscious needs to bring up for you. Anyway, with that in mind, take a listen to a little bit of our conversation. She expresses, as do I, a moment where we were interconnected through the course of the night, but also she felt that it had a different impact for her that didn't necessarily include a visual hallucination. I very cognizantly remember, I think her name was Kristen, coming up behind me and asking if she could put her hands on my shoulders and then I hear you instruct her or yeah, yeah. talk to her through that. And there's, and regardless of the fact that the two of you didn't know what was going on, that ended up proving to be a significant element for me. There was, there was a space that I was moving through that it represent like the two of you represented something for me personally um and so I know what maybe happened. you were there at to be to be that assistant you know yeah the drink the the drink and the vision because if you if you'd say it's ayahuasca she brings you right she brings mm. you they say so com- i would agree completely because the coming there doesn't everybody doesn't need to have visions because my liberation came from that day because if I, it had nothing to do with it because this dude that came and because I was walking out I remember he, he had the same birthday as me so they said light the candle I'm very like I don't I, I don't get friendly initially so I just was lighting the candles he came and he spoke to me then hey hi happy birthday that was the only conversation and then in the morning while I was walking cleaning I saw this guy like sat there his eyes were just you could only see the white he was going up and then something told me ground and then I held his head, feet like that and he just came like that and said oh my god I couldn't come down I couldn't get grounded I don't know what was mm, happening mm. So, and then uh, and then I came I didn't stay for the uh, talk and all right I got out because I'm so badly wanted to smoke I came home and he found me, I don't know how the fuck he found my name because I didn't introduce myself. He sent me this clip of this smoke. Now, my sir, I am to get answers for what I am searching for. That's how liberation will come, right? My liberation will not come with your questions. Now, before I, it only happened because of this, this dude I met, okay? And uh, there was now I was an egotistical Buddhist by that time because there is a part of Buddhism called Abhidharma. <laughs> right? So this this Abhidharma is is the most advanced part of Buddhism, and a lot of people don't touch it because it's like a science lesson and they don't understand. But I wanted to find. What did this dude say, man? Like for kings and queens to say, oh, we're done with this, and people who are coming from nightclubs, people who are coming from orgies, and then the the people who read Vedas, and I'm thinking, what did he say? And that message is what I got on 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 the ayahuasca trip. So when I think exactly about ayahuasca, I would say because if it is. It claims to be Mother Earth as an energy trying to give you something, right? Mm. So my understanding didn't need to come from the brew. It, it had to make, I had to meet that dude there, right? And that is where I came. And whether he did something to me physically where my horizon was broadened, like after, I don't know. Maybe you know, then, though, the, the, the brew didn't do anything more than give you at least an expansion so that meeting him helped usher you into the place that you need to be now. I would never deny that because I have no proof to say other, it is not. I have yeah. no proof to say it is, nor do I have proof to say it is not. So I'm very neutral about it. You sure. Know? 
but i am very grateful for that day i'm grateful for that ceremony i'm grateful for you know that experience of meeting this man and because i i am free of suffering you know what i mean and that is the most important thing for me it's created it's created a sense of healing it's created a sense of liberation oh my god oh my god and and i cannot tell you you know and i am nicer because you can't give what you don't have hmm. you know and i didn't even know i didn't have it's important to remember that our freedom comes from within first our freedom is found inside of us and when we know that when we find that within ourselves when we're able to revel in who we are then we can take it into our relationships and into our communities and i actually hope that this week we'll be able to expand into how the ideas of coming to one's freedom and liberation whether it's through plant medicine whether it's through spiritual practice are able to tie into our socio-political world things like climate change and ecological justice are becoming important topics on the world stage because the more we take care of the earth the more we participate with the earth rather than have dominion over it the more we might be able to solve some of the more divisive issues in our cultures today and come to a place of truth and reconciliation so my hope is that as we go forward the experience that my friend and i have shared about our our engagement with ayahuasca and what the grandmother did for us how it created expansion and liberation for us might encourage you in your own practice as well it doesn't have to be through plant medicines but perhaps you may find some encouragement in how you can be more connected to the earth and to your body through this process stay with us and may you have a day filled with mercy and grace and kindness toward yourself and others cheers